Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Neff from Nev's Tech Pits. Today I want to do an unboxing, review, benchmark, all that fun stuff of a ThinkPad E490. So uh, let's bust into it. Gotta say, I'm definitely in love with the Lenovo name. They have never particularly let me down. Hmm. I prefer when they use, of course, uh, recyclable materials in here, but whatever works, whatever works. Some places you can recycle um, styrofoam, some places you can't. In some places, you give the styrofoam to your auntie so that she can use it in her garden. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Anti-static bag. Hmm. No battery on the outside. It looks like if we want in, we have to get right into this one. So the bottom's plastic. Top is kind of metal. I'm, you know how they can make plastic that feels like metal? That's cold like metal? I want to say that's metal, but... Maybe that's spun metal. Anyways, Core i7, 8th gen. Let's get the power plug so we can get going. Usually they have enough batteries to get started, but not today, I suppose. All right, so we have uh, micro SD, USB, Cat5. Always love the fact they keep those ones. USB-C power. HDMI, USB, USB, and single headset. So that'll get you through with pretty much whatever you need. All right, a few things that should be said about the Lenovo brand is uh, they're pretty well built. This is the E series, and that means it's, uh, it's actually a little more consumer, but it's still good. The price is great. It doesn't, it isn't very rugged though. It is not very rugged. If you want a rugged system, you go for the T series. Now, I can tell you from experience that a T-series system, uh, you can take on to go under the plane. I think it's called luggage. And uh, the E-series, you cannot. I have had uh, people who have had to do it, and the, the, the systems just didn't last the trip. T-series can, E-series not so much. But I wonder if these ones would be better. Because the last E-series I used didn't have metal on the top. Now, I've already set a few of these up, and they're generally pretty fast. Got the, uh, oh yeah, the fingerprint reader there too, can't complain about that. And I'm sure that there's a way that I can make this keyboard light up. Let's get through all this fun stuff, and then we'll take a look under the hood. So this thing is definitely super light. Actually, let me uh, put it on the scale right now. I think this, this thing is about one-fourth the weight of my, I think it was a Compaq Armada I used to have back in high school. It is uh, 1.8 kilograms. 1.8 kilograms. Oh! That's so much lighter. So much lighter than uh, what I used to use. All right, yippee skippy updates. My boss always tells me it should only take an hour to set a computer up, Nevin Brown. Well, let me take updates off the list of things to do, and yeah, no problem. Freaking hate updates! All right, quick look inside tells us we have eight logical cores, and we have Intel UHD Graphics 620. Uh, got eight gigs of RAM, Intel Core i7, uh, 1.8 or 2.0 gigahertz. All right, let's put this sucker through some past mark benchmarks. Before we do that, I gotta say, this thing is a lot sleeker than, I believe it was the 480s that I've been buying uh, for a lot of my customers. Now let's take this down a notch. I want to show you the board. This thing is just so thin, so light. I really like it. I can't tell you, it's just smooth. It almost feels like metal. Once again, you ever feel that plastic that feels like metal because it's cold? And uh, honestly, it's, it just feels solid. I gotta say, I'm really happy with the feel. Oh wow, I can't be the only one that has this happen to you. As soon as you get the system set up, you open up uh, Edge, and then you find some crazy story that stops you in your work immediately. And it's about this suspected pedo who has killed himself. Millionaire suspected pedo. 
Um, Jeffrey Epstein dies. Looks like he killed himself in a supermax prison, making everybody wonder how it's possible to have people kill themselves or be killed within such a, an expensive penitentiary, an expensive place. Personally, I kind of wish that this guy had had to uh, serve out his time. That if, if it turns out that the accusations against him are correct, it would have been better if he had to serve out his time for punishment. But this is, this is not about that. Let's get into this benchmark. Ladies and gentlemen, start your CPUs as soon as it figures out that I have a hard drive. All right, and away we go. Now, normally what I do is I just show you guys the 2D and 3D uh, graphics marks because it gives you a good visual representation about what's going on. And actually, I have time today. I'm going to download Steam onto this thing and run a battle simulation on it to see how it takes it. Now, I'm sorry that I have to record it this way, but if I if I run a screen capture thing on this unit, it's going to take away resources, which is going to take away uh, a true bottom line here. So let's see what it says. All right, so the test has been run. We got a score of 3,222 disc mark. Ooh, not bad. Holy crud, that's a fast disc. 1,300, this thing must have an M2 card in there, and the M whatever. Memory mark, uh, 3D, not bad. Not bad, 3D mark, CPU mark. Man, seriously, I am impressed by that disc mark. Okay, so so one time I had a Y700 system that uh, that I accidentally installed the operating system onto the secondary uh, hard drive of the laptop, a, a Lenovo gaming laptop, and the disc mark was, the disc mark was 470 something. And then I th and then I put it onto the SSD and it got up to seven thousand. But this is at thirteen thousand. It's almost making me wonder. Geez, maybe that old thing, maybe that old thing really does have a bad hard drive. The one that I was repairing at work. Um, but yeah, ultimately not bad. Okay, let's be friendly and let them know that this is an E four ninety Lenovo. 
this helps stuff out, etc. And let's get steam on this bad boy. And I want to test some battle simulations. Oh my goodness, thank god for 9night.com. Easy way to download all kinds of stuff. Might as well get VLC and all that fun stuff on there. Thank goodness for that gentleman who made the VLC program to keep all codecs open source for free. Not all heroes wear capes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So in this battle simulator, I have uh, 250 elite Germans versus 500 normie soldiers USA. It's key to start battle. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm noticing first off, if I'm going to compare this to uh, the Ryzen 3 Lenovo system that I got, Ryzen 3 Pro anyways, is this doesn't play as nice as the Ryzen 3 Pro. One of the receipts back here. Good job, Zoe. Not bad. Kind of choppy. I mean, you could... You can play your quintessential games on this thing. Okay, no, I definitely screwed that up. I had way too many German soldiers. <laughs> Anyways, still not a bad system. Definitely great for office. Uh, not so much gaming. Good for school if you're not too rough on things. Don't be rough, this thing will get you through school. Now let's see what's inside. Okay, wow, folks, I was not prepared for this. We got an extra slot for RAM, and I got a hard disk in here. I also have an SSD, so I knew I'd have an SSD. I didn't realize that I had a secondary drive. I wonder if it's even real. Oh my goodness, guys, check it out, it's a dummy drive. It's just a dummy drive. I've never seen that before. I wonder why. Maybe just a place to hold the housing? That's interesting. Check that out. Huh. All right, so of course we got the battery. Looks like it connects Nyaw. And of course another place for DDR4 RAM. Wi-Fi SSD. CPU heat pipe. Seems a bit floppy. Anyways, for those interested, in order to get this thing out, the screws, uh, you know, just get all the screws. You don't have to pull them out. They, they kind of stick there. You'll want a spudger or really good nails to get under there. Lots of clips. Lots of clips. And that's about it. Good system. I'm not disappointed, and hopefully, It'll last relatively long, so the, lot, the version that this is replacing, I did actually have some problems with. And though the price was, geez, about almost half the price, almost half the price of, of a T-series unit, which uh, again is built to be rugged. I've noticed most places that uh, are worth their salt seem to prefer to give people rugged T-series and just pay through the nose for it. Or you could go with these ones, and I've had random situations. Honestly, with, with the with the ones these are replacing, the E480, I believe, I have had problems with those coming back to me, uh, and it hasn't always been the end user's fault. You gotta baby these things. You really gotta baby these things in life. And to some people, babying them means just uh, treating them like normal. Man, you get some people that think these things are like textbooks and you can throw them all over the place and step on them and step over them and stuff. But you can't. It's not how it works. With these ones anyways. T-Series, eh, you might be able to get away with it if you step on the bottom of it like here. But not on the lid. I've found so many laptops that break when mom accidentally steps on the lid. It's my own fault. I shouldn't have left it on the floor. I'm sorry, mom.
Anyways, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get this thing back together. And um, have a good one.